day everyone, my name is Jinima and uh, I'm back again with a video but unlike any other the videos before today's video is in memory of Didi Kempot uh, the Champusari singer so the famous Indonesian singer Didi Kempot died today uh, which is Tuesday May 5, 2020 in the morning around 7 a.m. Long before getting the title The Godfather of Broken Heart, art blood had flowed in this man whose full name was Dionysius Placetio. Didi Kampot was born on December 31, 1966 and was raised in the middle of the arts environment. His father is a famous traditional artist, Ranto Eddie Goodell, or called Mbah Ranto, while his brother Mamik is a famous comedian. The beginning of Didi Kampot's work in the singing world began in the 80s by becoming a street performer in the Surakarta region, Central Java. At that time, Didi only bought, brought old Javanese songs written by others and also his own works like When Gen Yu, When Chen Yu. Uh, some times ago, CNN Indonesia reported news that Didi said that he did not yet know the genre of his song as Champusari or other at the beginning of his career. He just go with the flow. When Didi Kampot entered the recording studio in Jakarta in 1989, he still brought music that had been played. Didi finally determined the music genre after working on an arrangement with Pompu, Pompi Suradimansya. The genre is Champusari. We all know during his career, Didi Kampot wrote many songs with the theme of heartbreak and loss. According to him, these songs can be felt by many people because the alleged community has experienced it. His desire to be closer to the community also made him often use places names as the title and lyrics of the song. For example, songs that are very hit with the title Stasiun Balapan and others. The public's love for Didi Kampot songs even had the interest of President Joko Widodo. The president appealed to ministries and institutions to use Didi Kampot songs and other arts. Over 30 years of musical career, Didi Kampot has released dozens of albums and made more than 700 songs. Columnist and former Compass journalist Jimmy S. Harianto wrote about his experience of Didi Kampot. According to him, besides being a go good at writing songs, Didi Kumpot also loves cooking. He even cooked himself food for friends who visited his house. I really like to cook, Didi Kumpot told Jimmy and his wife when spending two nights staying at Didi Kumpot's house on a cliff slope in a village in Ngawi, Madiun, East Java in July 2005. Everything Every cooking was done by Kiki Didi Kampot himself, not a maid or his wife. In the Kick Andy talk show on Metro TV in December 2019, just two months before COVID-19 entered Indonesia, Didi Kampot told me, told that since 1993, he had been asked to perform in the Netherlands, and then in 1994, there was a stage in Suriname, 19 times there, said Didi Kampot. In Suriname, Didi Kampot is very famous, and one song, Kangen Nikeri, is the name of a beautiful place in Suriname. A song specially made for Doni Harsa, the Kitipung player who has left by his wife. Why, why, does it call, why is it called Didi Kampot? As Andy Noya in this talk show at the end of December 2019. Kampot is our name when... I was straight performing, Didi Kampot said. And once in Jakarta, Didi Kampot straight performed on the edge of the road in Sleepy, near the Sleepy Roundabout. Life for when is very simple, on the edge of a grave in Sleepy. I always stay in the same room in Jakarta, at the same level in the Ibis Hotel, Sleepy. Didi Kampot told Jimmy in 2005. 
Diddy Kampot always rented the same room, the window of which could look out to at the sidewalk where he used to sing 40 years ago. He always looked down, where in the past he had really become a bottom person, full of stories of breakups, breakups of boyfriends, left idolatrous. So, we will always remember Diddy Kampot in our heart, and may he rest in peace in heaven. Thank you everyone once again, my name is Jemima.